It's Friday! Last day of the week before the weekend. You got this. Let's do it. We're going to start in our seated position on our chair today on our sit bones. Take a deep breath up and reach up for the sky. Exhale and bring your back. Resting your torso on your thighs. Relaxing the head forward. Inhale, roll up slowly through the spine. Inhale. Exhale up and over. Relax the head. Inhale, really sending those sit bones into the ground. Inhale. Up and over, exhale. Let's just stay there for a couple of breaths. Inhale. Fill that lower back with oxygen. Let it go. Inhale once more. Breathe in and exhale. One more time, breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in as you roll up. And exhale. Good. We're going to take one, um, take a moment there. You might have had a little uh, lightheadedness or a little dizziness. It's okay. Just come back. So again, we're, stand, we're sitting up tall, not slouching in our chair. Let's breathe in, rise our arms up to the sky. Interlace our fingers, palms face the sky. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And let it go. Do the same thing. Inhale, fingertips, and now twist gently to one side, keeping both sit bones on that chair. Twist, twist, and exhale, release in that same twist. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Come back to center. Inhale. Cross over, cross those fingertips. Switch, twist over gently to the other side. Exhale and stay in that gentle twist. Your arm can come over the back of the chair. You you um, stay in that position for a little bit. And come back to center. All right, let's get our feet moving. We're gonna bring up our heels up off the ground. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Right heel, left heel. Right here, left, left. Together, both up, down, up, down. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Now we're gonna stay up on the those, those balls of the feet and we're gonna go over to our toes. You might have to scoot forward a little bit for this one. This might just be me because I'm a ballerina. Um, if you can't, then just come up to the top of your toe, not over, but just to the tippy toes. So re you're really just working through those toes, pushing those toes away, or think of bringing your knee up, okay? So we go right and left and right and left. My feet are super white. Left and right and left. Both, if you have to grab onto that chair for some stability, you can do that. Both down, up and down, up, down, up and down, up, down, up and down. And I'm gonna do this stretch of the front of my feet. You can, if you wish, and bring down. So let's march in place, bringing up those knees up towards our chest, keeping that back nice and long. Opposite arm as if we were marching up a hill. Really bringing up, um, thinking of that hip joint. Where, what is moving inside of our hips. See if you can uh, kind of get a sensation for the, the head of the femur. All right. So now we're just going to um, straighten out our left leg out in front. The foot nice and flexed. Let's go ahead, point it out, and flex, and point, and flex, and point, and flex, 
and point, bring it down. Left side, up, nice and flex, right angle. Make sure your leg is nice and parallel with the ground and with the sky. And point and flex, point and flex, and point and flex, point, bring it down. We're gonna bring up the right again, nice and flex. And we're gonna do a little circle. So we got like one, two, three, Four. Do you remember what this is called when we're going out, outward in French? En dehors. En dehors. And switch sides. En dedans. Going inward. Should feel that burning in the top of our femur, in the socket of our, our hip socket. And release. Other side. Foot nice and flexed, knee nice and straight. It's okay if it's down here and they're just little circles. Find what is good for you. And make sure your leg stays completely parallel. Don't let it be swiveling all over the place. We want control. And that back, nice and pulled up, your, those abs are engaged. Shouldn't be sinking into your ground. If you need to help, if you need to push up with the help of your arms, do so. Switch it other other way on dedans. Oh, this oh this burns. No matter how long you've been training, <laughs> it burns. So I feel ya. You can do it. One more and relax. Relax. Let's just um, roll forward for a second. Get bring our get our breath back. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and roll back up. Great job. Um, oh, I always get like a nice head rush every time I come back up. Okay, we're going to now just hold our right leg up in the air, knee bent, 90 degree angle, foot 90 degree angle, and we're just going to do some little swings. Just swing our foot back and forth without moving without moving our thigh it's just the, bo the bottom half of our leg just swinging back and forth so this is really the knee joint there shouldn't be any pain it shouldn't be normally there shouldn't be any cracking either so find what feels good find what what you what you can do how how, how forward and back you can go without having any pain. And bring it down, other side. Bring up that knee, 90 degree angle at the knee, 90 degree angle at that foot. Watch that foot, don't sickle. Keep the outer edge back. And just let it swing back and forth. Now there's, there's no pressure on the knee, there's no pressure, so there shouldn't be any popping. There shouldn't be any cracking whatsoever. Um, so just see see how that feels. And feel free to write any, any comments or um, feedback just so I know how this is working out for you and if you, um, how I can uh, make it better. Okay, so nice and down, big deep breath in. And release. We kind of went the other way today. We went, we started with our feet and then up their body. So we're going to go with our neck now. Uh, chin down and chin up, not back, just slightly up. And down and up and down and up and down. And up, we're gonna do our tilts. And one side, and switch, and switch. Isn't this so nice, getting to stretch and just paying some attention to our lovely bodies. And switch. Okay, now we do side to side, looking over that shoulder, breathing in and exhaling when we switch to the other side. I'm going a little bit fast today. I don't know why. I'm not feeling as calm and 
relaxed as I was the beginning of the week, maybe because it's Friday. All right, let's do some half circles. Keeping that chin nice, nicely tucked in with our chest. Keeping that back straight, that lower back, those abs engaged, creating a nice long, long line with our spine. All right, today we're gonna do a little bit of movement with our arms, with our shoulders. So just place your hands up on your shoulders while they're so bright. I can't change the lighting, I apologize. Let's just draw some shoulders, with uh, some circles with our elbows backwards. This is what um, filming without a production team looks like. <laughs> uh, so just uh, bear with me. And again, there might be a glitch with the, with the image and the voice. I don't know why it's doing that. But again, just follow my voice. Uh, switch to the other, uh, other direction. Forward circles with our elbows forward. Again, this should be gentle, breathing in as we're moving our, our joints. If they're smaller because there's some kind of pain or because there's limited mobility or range, just find what's good for you. All right, let's shake that out, relax it out a little bit. Um, while we're at it, let's just, let's, um, let's do some wrist rolls. It's kind of like figure eights. Just kind of feel like it today. You know, I, I'm the one leading this so I can do whatever <laughs> feels good for me. Um, I hope that I'm trying to picture what would, what would be good for you as well. Uh, other, other direction. Okay. We can, um, Bring our hand out in front of us and pull our fingers slightly back. Just get a little nice stretch. And also down. Switch the hands. Our fingers facing the ground. With the help of our other hand, we push our fingers back. And then we flip it, fingers down. Our hand pushes our hands back. Okay, let's take one more deep breath. Interlace those fingers, push the sky, push towards the sky. Oh, oh, very good. Let's stand up. I know it's glitching like crazy. I can see it on my screen. Oh, that's so annoying. Doesn't matter. Okay, feet together. Our hips over our heels, ears over our hips, which means ears over our feet as well. Sorry, not our heels, balls of our feet. And we're just going to March in place without lifting our feet off the ground. We're just lifting our heels. Right, bring it down. Left, bring it down. Heel, down. Left, down. So balls are on the ball of our foot on the right side, bring it down. Ball on the foot on the left side, bring it down. Two more. And left. Okay, now we're going to come up onto the balls of our feet with both of our heels off the ground. We're going to put the left heel down. So we're in that nice position on the right side. Come up, both heels off the ground, and lower the right heel down to the ground. So when you do this, try to avoid really like, woo, um, swinging your body. Instead, try to think as if you were lower, lowering, or being lowered by a pulley that's right above you by the crown of the head. Okay, so we're trying to stay as as still as possible in a straight line, as straight as possible. Okay, our knees are free to bend when that foot is flat on the ground. Okay, Let's just see how this feels. Are those knees popping? Do you feel a strain behind the knee? Are those quads, do they feel engaged when you're pushing up, up onto the balls of the feet? How do your glutes feel? Are your, are your abs engaged? Is that belly button trying to find that, that lower spine, that lower back? Or is it relaxed, rolling out forward? Just, just try to um, create this awareness 
up from the balls of our feet all the way to the crown of the head. We want control. I have no idea where my image has gone. And we just keep doing that, you know? My knees pop every time. They crack every time I do this. So it's normal. I mean, maybe it's not normal, but I'm just saying if it does, uh, you're, not, you're not alone. But there's no pain. There's no pain whatsoever. Okay, I'm bringing both heels down to the ground, and I'm going to push both balls of the feet into the ground as the crown of my head tries to grow as long as possible towards the sky. And I'm just going to hold, think of that belly button in, and come down. I don't know if I mentioned my feet are, are together, they're close together, because we want to create um, an awareness as well with our inner thighs. All our, our legs should be nicely, um, nice and snug, or as if you were holding a piece of paper between your legs or a penny between your knees. I know everybody's built differently, but uh, that's the sensation, as if we were holding a, a small object in between our legs. And also in between our butt cheeks. So there's, there's that um, awareness of these muscles that are engaged. And we bring it down slowly. All right, shake it out. Shake it out. We're going to stretch a little bit. Um, the way I like to stretch my legs for our calves and the back of our, of our hamstrings, I'm going to take a nice long step back, bend the, the, the leg that is forward, and straighten the leg that is, that is behind me, looking to put my heel on the ground while keeping that belly button up towards towards me. I'm not rolling, but I'm not keeping my butt out either. I'm trying to create a long line. Again, think of from the crown of the head, this energy shooting straight out that back heel. So you should feel a stretch in the calf and also a nice stretch in this right hip flexor here. So if that's not doing much for you, or it, it may, you can then gently bend the back leg and create a bit deeper a bit of a deeper stretch in that calf. May may not depends where where we're at today. Let's switch to the other side. So bring that left leg back first, searching um, to get that long line from the crown of our head down to the bottom of our heel keeping that belly button engaged, thinking, also, you might have opened up here, these hips, I don't know if you can see that, think of bringing that left um, hip forward, forward, keeping both hips aligned. I'm going to come around to the front so you can see. So um, we like to think that there's our two um, creases of our pelvic, of our pelvic bone, are like headlights, okay? So if I'm coming back here and I'm switching, opening that hip, my headlights aren't straight on, they're off to the side. So really think of trying to bring in that hip square to the front so my headlights are facing the front. All right, so now we have uh, can relax out of that position. We've stretched our, ham our hamstrings and our Calves, um, we're going to stretch our quads. Now, stretching our quads, we have to be really careful so we don't hurt our knees. I'm going to come to the side. You're going to gently bend your knee, grab, on, grab onto your foot if possible. Now this, you know, you see this in, in sports and everything, people uh, stretching this way. This is only going to be effective um, if it's done properly. So let me explain. The, the goal is not to bring the heel to the butt, the buttocks, okay? So let's just forget about that picture. What we want to do is try to create a long line from the crown of our head down through our knee. 
So we want our knee to be facing the ground, okay? So it's not up here in the front, but we're really pushing that knee back for it to be facing the ground. So without moving or adjusting our foot behind us, that should already create a sensation up here in the, in the hip flexor, okay? So now secondly, we're not going to bring our heel to our glute. What we're going to do instead, if our shoulder, shoulders allow us, we are going to press our foot into our hand away from that glute. And now you should feel a real active stretch in that quad. Okay, this is an active stretch and I find it, it works miracles. <laughs> okay, so really work, keeping that, that belly button in and engaged, don't let it roll out forward, or, however, um, but really keeping that knee down, your energy up, long spine, energy out to the crown of your head, knee towards the ground, and pushing that foot into your hand. And why do I say if our, if our shoulder allows us, um, it is quite heavy and you are having to resist with your arm, otherwise your foot would just, um, yeah, would fall to the ground. So it's also creating a bit of a tug in the shoulder. So if that allows you, if, you know, just be gentle, be gentle. And let's release, Whew. spring it to the other side. I can do it facing the front of this for you guys. Uh, the left, so our hip bones straight, um, bring our knee back. So my knee is not out in the front, but my knee is really down towards the ground, okay? And I'm going to push my foot away. I'm also not arching my back. I'm keeping a long spine by bringing the belly button up and in, okay? So knee down to the ground, press that foot away. Again, this should not cause any pain in the knee joint, okay? It should just, call, it should just, you should just feel a stretching sensation all the way from the hip flexors down to the knee, but not pain, you know, work, you gotta start start listening to your body. Start creating start creating this awareness of what what is a good pain and what's a bad pain. Because no doctor or teacher or instructor can can tell you that. You're you're you, you're the judge of that. Okay. So we release this side really carefully because that can cause. Uh, just we want to just be gentle. We don't want to move too quickly out of any um, any stretching position. Okay, so we're gonna come back into our chair. We're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. And we're just gonna um, towards the front of our front of the chair. Bring one leg out in front and creating that long spine up and over. One leg is bent 90 degree angle at the, at the knee and the foot, and the other one flexed on the ground. Lean forward, hands behind, holding onto that chair if you need, and just stretch here, our hamstring again. Nicely breathe in, and out, and in, and out. And in and out. One last breath in and come back. Switch it to the other side. Think up and over. Keeping that outer edge of the foot back. Nice and flex. Breathe in and out. Long neck. Don't drop, don't collapse the neck. Don't create an arc, arc, or don't look, don't bring your head back, but keep keep that line, that line, nice long line. Okay, now I'm gonna try one more thing before we go. Um, let's see if this is possible. We're gonna cross one leg over the other, knee over knee. 
in the middle of our seat. Okay? We can scoot back a little bit for this one. And I want you to again think up and over, away as far as possible, and we're going to bring our back down. All the way down, relaxing over our legs. How does this feel? Do you feel a stretch in the side of the body or in that side of that hip? Do you feel nothing at all? Do you feel your leg being squashed by your other leg? Just notice how does this feel? Is it relaxing? Is it lengthening? Is it painful? Roll it up and switch to the other side. Remember, we don't want bad pain. We just want the good, the good yummy pain. Up, <laughs> it sounds so wrong. Up and over. Yummy pain. That exists. That exists. Uh, big deep breath in. As I'm re as I'm relaxing and um, bending over my legs, I don't know if you can feel your foot be flat on the ground. Just take a second to be aware of your the arch of your foot. Is it relaxed and tipping over into the ground? Is your ankle tipped over and off the ground, or is that arch up? Is that arch being lifted up off the ground by creating an awareness, a, a, a slight pressure on the balls of your feet, the edge, outer edge of your feet and your heel? How does, you know, that's just, just, that just came to mind for, for a second. Um, we really need to be aware of our points of contact with the ground and how how we come in contact with the ground because that is our foundation and it's through our foundation all the way up that we either have a good or incorrect posture so just bring this awareness to that outer edge of that foot and think of lifting that ar that uh, arch um yeah bring both feet both feet down. Let's just have a, let's just do that again without crossing our legs over. Um, relax over onto your thighs and just play with that a little bit. Feel, how does it feel when you lift your toes up off the ground, if your toes are flat on the ground, if your legs are slightly rolled, your ankles are slightly rolled out to the side, meaning your toe, your, your big joint, the, the big joint of the first toe that's off. We want to make sure all of our five toes are nice on the, nicely placed on the ground and just, um, or are your ankles rolled in inwards? You can really, you can, you can tell, just take, observe your feet, observe your feet and how, how do they, how do they line up naturally with the ground? Okay, let's, we're going to, we're trying to keep nice long lines and right angles to create a good posture that will hold us and take us through our day. Well, that's it for today. I hope that um, that it uh, worked for you. And yeah, let me know. Feel free to write down to write some comments and let me know what you think. Have a great Friday. Happy May first and.